Hello, this is Captain Chaudhary. In my series of videos on marine astronomical navigation, today I'm going to talk about a very special situation. We are going to observe a star. Uh, this star rises and then uh, the star is seen crossing the observer's prime vertical. Now, the interesting thing is we do not know the name of the star. We do not know our DR position also. We don't know what is latitude and longitude. Right? But we are able to find out two things. Two important data can be determined from this situation. One is the latitude of observer and other one is declination of the star. Navigation. After all, navigation is an art of finding out position. And there are so many different ways in which out at sea we can find out the ship's position. And this is one of them. Right? We will find out the latitude of observer. We will also find out the declination of the star. Let's look at it. Okay, uh, here is a, a question where it says that a star rose bearing 0.75 and when on prime vertical, observer's prime vertical, the altitude was 34 degrees. We have to find out what is the latitude of observer and what is the declination of the star. Nothing else is given, no data is given. So uh, I have told you before, whenever latitude and or declination is not given, on the observer's rational horizon diagram, what you do is you place the body according to altitude and azimuth. So it seems the body rose over here. where uh, the amplitude was 15 degrees, right? And then at the time of meridian passage, at the time of crossing of the prime vertical, the body was here. A person who is of this artistic faculties, he would say that if the star is rising here, star would set here. If the star is crossing observer's prime vertical over here, uh, it is going to cross here also. And probably looks like this is the apparent daily path of the star. And if this is the apparent daily path, this should be the latitude. Looks like latitude is north because equinoctial has gone to south. And even the declination is north. And this is a typical situation where observers prime vertical is crossed. Now your declination, declination and latitude are of same name and D less than L. This is one way of uh, looking at the problem. Another way of looking at the problem is since the body crosses observer's prime vertical, right? Latitude and declination must be of same name. And D should be less than latitude. Now because the rising bearing is 75, Rising bearing is 75, I would say that the amplitude at the time of rising is east 15 north. And it is said that the amplitude or this is a fact that amplitude takes the name from declination. It means that the declination is north and since the body is crossing observer's prime vertical, even the latitude should be north. So uh, that gives you an idea that I should be making a diagram like this. So there are two ways in which we can make the initial diagram and in any of these astronomical numericals it is very very important as to what is the correct diagram. Once you have got the correct diagram probably you will get the answer. If the amplitude is 15 degrees as I said whenever a body is rising we can always use the amplitude formula sine of amplitude is equal to sine of d upon cos l. So we have a formula like sine of D is equal to, let's see how much is sine 15, 0 0.2588, 0 0.2588, right? That is the sine 15 into cos L. So this is your equation number one. Now for equation number two, what I do is I make this PZX triangle. And what I do is I look at this triangle because the body is on observer's prime vertical, angle Z is 90, and I make a Napier for this situation. Whatever is 90, I write here. 
neighbors of z are p z and z x other neighbors are p x p x what we know is the zenith distance is 34 and therefore uh, altitude is 34 so we know the zenith distance right and uh, we don't know the latitude or declination but we want to involve latitude and declination into the uh, question in the equation so we have sine of middle part sine of 90 minus px this can be written as sin d because you can see 90 minus px px is this and 90 minus px would be the declination this is equal to sin d is equal to cos pz cos zx this can be written as sin latitude and uh, cos zx we know the zenith distance as uh, 90 minus 34 so uh, 56 degrees so we have sine d is equal to 0 0.5592 sine l so we already have a sine d is equal to 0.2588 cos l so uh, in both these equation equation 1 and 2 we have the left hand side as sine d so we can equate the right hand side and we can say that 0.5592 sin L is equal to 0 0.2588 cos L. Cos L comes on this side, it will become tan L equal to 0.2588 divided by 0 0.5592. 0 0.2588 divided by 0.5592 gives me latitude as 24.8 degrees latitude is equal to 24.83 degrees of course north so having found the latitude as 24.83 degrees what we do is we substitute in any of the equations suppose we substitute here we have sine d is equal to 0 0.2588 into cos of 24.83 gives me 13.58 so declination is 13.58 degrees north whether at the time of uh, stars rising theoretical rising which may not be known accurately but at the time of star crossing observers prime vertical that is when the bearing of the star is 90 at that time if we try to find out what is the position of Aries for example we would know the GMT and from the GMT we uh, find out GH Aries and applying longitude to it if you find out LH Aries right what we can do is we find out the LHA of the star at that time because we already know the position of the star when the star is crossing observers prime vertical we find out the angle P and that angle P on the east side, angle P on the east side would give EHA, right? This angle would be EHA. From the EHA, we'll find out LHA star. And from the LHA star, if we minus LHA is, we'll get SHA star. So this is how we can even identify the star.